today, here we go, um, in lesson 11.2, we're looking at how events that happen in the world can sometimes be dependent on each other, or other times totally, totally independent, meaning nothing influences them. So the teaching point just makes that really clear to you, and so I want to start looking at it in the examples. In example A, uh, imagine that you and a friend Bob go to a restaurant, okay, and I want you to see if there is any evidence of influence. If you choose a burrito from the menu, okay, that's just you. And then your friend Bob chooses a hamburger. Did Bob's choice somehow get influenced or impacted by what you did? Turn and talk to your neighbor, yes or no, and explain so. So I'd like to hear from you guys. What do you say? What say you? Uh, Aaron, what do you think? Uh, uh, I think no. Mm. How come? Sure. All right, let's hear it more, Avery. Maybe Bob wasn't hungry and he just wanted something to eat. <laughs> okay. So are you saying that it was dependent or independent? So what Bob chose was dependent on what I chose? Oh, wait. You chose or what you Bob, did. What Bob did. Did event B get influenced by event A? Sure. Did, what, did Bob choose a hamburger because of what I did? No. It's totally independent. Some of you guys might say, you know, well, maybe Bob didn't want to copycat me. Maybe Bob wanted to be his own guy. And so he didn't want to end up getting the same thing I did because, you know, he doesn't like copying people. So, of course, Mr. Kim is dependent. He's not going to choose a burrito himself. And I hear that, too. I hear that. But just the way it's written, the problem is written so that you don't have to infer. Okay? You don't have to psychoanalyze and get into Bob's brain. Okay? Is it clear how come A is independent? Bob chose burrito or hamburger because he wanted to, not because he was forced to or compelled. 